we're at Jeff's barn and um, here's some of our vehicles, it's our 1958 Ford Prefect and we've just come back from a classic American car show with our 61 New York coat you see here and our caravan 1966 and 1966 Cheltenham Waterbuck there it's uh, one of the chefs it's, uh, Travel Craft American um, I don't know what you call that RV or whatever you call it, motorhome thing and uh, we just bought this 1937 standard flying 10 it's totally original and totally complete it hasn't had many owners at all it's been really well looked after I don't think it's ever been painted it's like a dark bottle green and uh, I'll show you around it first of all we don't know much about it as I said we've literally only had it a couple of days but it is totally standard, totally original and it will be kept as such as uh, that's what we like, which we like things kept original and as they were Jeff? I'll get Jeff over in a minute and uh, getting to show you some of the features of this 1937 car we've, as I said, we've just come back from American Car Show we took our, our old caravan and car so uh, right Jeff can you tell us about this the 1937 standard flying was it flying standard yeah, 10 so standard uh, 10 horsepower um, the name they gave it. It's got a few typical features of a pre-war car as you may be able to see from looking at the picture now. The spare wheel is mounted on the back and you remove the cover take the spare wheel out but of course you probably notice it's got no boot. So what they did was um, quite a clever feature and not that uncommon uh, of the pre-war era. They gave you a rack on the back of a car you release the locking mechanism unfold it so that the number plate hung so you're still legal and got number plate and you pull the extra piece out and then what you would do you would strap the luggage on there or a trunk or a picnic basket really whatever you wanted to carry if you you know needed to take some luggage there is also some extra space which I may be able to show you when we go inside because the rear seat tips forward obviously it's not as convenient if you've got passengers mm. in the car so that's so in, a, instead of a boat <laughs> or the early form of a boat exactly. <laughs> so that's the fe that's a feature there obviously you have to be careful when reversing because you can't see where it is no so just walking around again typical pre-war car small rear window as you can see needs resealing the car i'm 99.9 percent .9 certain is original paintwork obviously it's had some um, little bits of yeah, polishing try, someone's I trying to do. I don't think the petrol cap's original. But, um, <laughs> no, I think that is. I do think you that's really? an original feature, yes. Really? Because it is a sprung loaded one oh. which would have been fitted to the car originally. Oh. You just undo it and hook it over like that. God, it looks so shiny. It looks yeah. sort of like quite a new sort of modern yeah. shape. But as you can see, it's sprung, yeah. oh, sprung yeah. fitted inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah I Again. See what you mean. So no it one it doesn't look that old, but obviously it isn't. I'm it's pretty sure that's an original feature. Ugh. Coming around the side, as you can see, four door. Lovely. Oh, I love the shape of the Typical door. pre-war doors with a window surround. Mechanisms all working nice and freely. But as you can see, don't go down very far because of the size of glass. Going to cut out the wheel arch. And of course, you've got manual locks on the inside. The locks were an early type of just a normal door lock not burst proof safety they were just purely a normal door lock if you have a 
we have a pound. I'll just get inside because for a small car it's got remarkable remarkable amount of room in the back. As you can see it's got the original tuck and roll leather seats. Um, not in bad condition considering it's 73 years old. Um, I, think, I think upholstery is brilliant. And I, and I think really old. it deserves to be left as it is. This yeah. is the feature I was talking to you about earlier where you just release a tab like that, pull the seat forward and there's your extra oh, well, load space. Trying, uh, get the camera in the boot. It'll probably look a bit dark in here but... It's a bit dark, a bit dirty but as you can see that's where you would have put a few extra bits and pieces that you had. I don't know if the camera will pick this up but well, we'll try we can only show you that. So I'm just putting the seat back now, re-clip the tab back on. Also it's got another feature which again really typical of pre-war cars. They had a, a rear blind. If you uh, look at the back window now you can see as I pull this Sorry. the blind comes up. Got to do that again. Sorry, all nice and properly. original. Wow. All nice and original. And, and what works. should <laughs> happen, this cord, which is obviously broken because it's got a tie up in it, would have come down to a series of eyes. You can still see the holes where they were, up round there, along here, through another nice plastic eye there, and this ring on the end would hook above the driver's shoulder so the driver could operate it mm. from the front seat. Amazing. Um, the carpet. Oh, and again, the sunroof. Oh, sorry. I'll do the sunroof. <laughs> okay, sorry, right. The carpet. carpet, again, looks very, very much original. original a hessian. Like a hessian sort of carpet, yeah. It's a bit threadbare in places, but again, I'm very, very loath to change it. Um, I think What's that? the originality oh, of the car, if it cleans up nice, I'll probably leave it like it. And there's a, a nice. Like cord, almost like a cord dry back into the seat. Yeah, not quite cord dry, but that kind of look, it looks like cord dry, but yeah. isn't. Yeah, I don't know what they call that. I can actually so, show you the, the sun. Like the needle cord, like a fine needle cord, isn't it? Quite possible again, a little bit fair, yeah. but it, it just is. It just says it's all original. If we have a look at the um, um, the roof line again, original type of. I don't know what they would call this sort of pre-war stuff, but I would know it as a fur flex sort of lining. Um, it's got a furry sort of feel to it. You've got a fully sliding sunshine roof, as they used to call them pre-war. Not a sunroof as we call them now. If I can move it, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> it works quite nice. so well, doesn't it? Unbelievable, again for its age. As you can see, a wooden surround held in by the original um, straight cut screws with cabinet washers underneath nice original feature and again really quite a nice movement um, we'll, we'll we'll see whether it leaks or not but again nice slide movement just a lovely sort of I like the visor too <laughs> like a coach built feel to it yep single visor on the driver's side yeah. The, nice the 